Aloha mai, today we have Master Lahala Weaver, Pohaku ka ho'ohanohana, who will be sharing with us the wonderful uses of the kumula aulauhala, or the hala tree. So, aloha mai e pohaku. Aloha mai. Please share ovai ko inoa, what's your name, where you found no mai oi, and what got you interested in the aulauhala tree itself and the actual art of weaving. So, aloha mai, o pohaku ko inoa, uh, noho wau ma kakuloa, um, uh, he mea ulana lauhala mau. So, um, I'm a weaver, I live in Kahakuloa. Uh, what actually got me interested in lauhala weaving was um, back when I was a, kind of a, in my mid teens, so about 15 or so, I got interested in uh, my genealogy. So, basically, that's what sparked the interest. What I did was go around and ask all my oldest family members the stories or the traditions, um, how my family lived in the past, um, how the, what the kupuna did basically during their lifetimes. And part of the knowledge that I gained was that both of my grandfathers, or both of my dad's grandmothers were lauhala weavers. So they didn't only weave lauhala, but lauhala of course was the, the main source of uh, weaving for Hawaii. After finding that out, I wanted to try and see what it was like. Um, the only experience I had was going to explorations in Oahu when I was young and making an alohala bracelet. So I didn't, so by that time, I, I didn't, uh, I still had no understanding of hala. So then I, I was, um, by the time I was 19, I went searched out um, uh, some kupuna to teach me um, lauhala and so at that time I was living in Honokohau Valley and that's where one of my grandmothers, grandmothers were born. Uh, so um, this one auntie, Auntie June Kaehue, who lived up in the valley, she told me, okay, I'll teach you. So uh, she told me to come to her house the following week, bring my lauhala, and then from then she would, you know, we would work with the hala and show me how to prepare. So I went to her house the following week. I brought some lauhala that I had gathered went to her house and basically she took a look at my lauhala and told me it was junk, so I had to throw it away. And so she had her own little stash on the side. So she taught me how to clean, prepare lauhala and get it ready for weaving. Uh, and then the first thing she taught me was baskets. So the, the first thing I started learning was baskets. And so of course, right then I went home, just made a bunch of baskets and of course, all my first baskets are totally kapulu because I was just learning. So plenty of pieces were inside out or backwards. Um, wasn't tightly woven, really loose. But, you know, when I look at the, the progression, you know, I keep my first baskets to remind me where I started, you know. So, but it started from there. It started with my genealogy, finding out that both of my dad's grandmothers were weavers. And, um, yeah. Once I started learning, I just never stopped and made it part of my life. Oh, so, um, in your manao, do you look at it as more of a kuleana? Because in our traditional Hawaiians, we are passed down kuleana, knowing or not knowing that it's our kuleana. Yeah. So, um, just from hearing your mo'olelo, it just reminded me of how that just could have been your Ohana Kuleana or did, that it was passed down to you with you not knowing just your, your yeah, interest yeah. and your desire to, to learn. So, mahalo no kela mo'olelo. That was yeah. very, very interesting. First time I heard it, so mahalo nui. No, now it's a, a Kuleana. It's a total Kuleana. But when I first started, it wasn't, it didn't feel that way. I was like interested in just yeah. learning this and that and trying and trying. And now, because, uh, well, I, eventually I had seven different Kumu taught me all their different ways of weaving. So four from Maui, three from Big Island, and I've lost almost all of them. I have my, I only had one teacher left, and that's my very first teacher actually, Jun Kaihue, she's the only one. So now especially, because a lot of them didn't even teach their own kids or grandchildren, uh, it's, it's a huge responsibility for me to bring that back to their own families when they're ready to. Some of the kids were young when I started learning, some of my kumu's grandchildren, so they didn't really have that interest or wasn't, you know, around a lot. So now that their kupuna is gone, but they still want the knowledge, I, you know, I, I do hold some of that, that family knowledge for them. Um, so, so that's my kuleana for sure.
to yeah. keep this art alive. No, mahalo, you know, he vai vai kaike, so the knowledge that you, you, sh you hold or you share is, is very important and, and you see the importance in your holding it and then actually using it to share and um, with not just the ohana but the community. I, I know you've been doing a lot of community, um, what do you call the demonstrations mm -hmm, or mm -hmm. classes you know within you know the kayapuni or during certain um events so yeah. uh, yeah. you know mahalo vo ya oi. i see you and i'm like oh one day one day yeah. but you know you have to be a certain kind of kanaka to hold that kiki and actually put it to your team um so if you could share a little bit about the, the kumalao itself um we know it's, it's very vai vai, it's very important. Um, as you said, the lauhala was used, or the main, you know, weaving uh, leaf or lau mm -hmm. was the lauhala. Um, I'm, I'm s guessing of the abundance or the, the you know, uh, of the leaves versus something like makaloa, which we mm -hmm. don't see yeah. often, or I'm not sure what else was used for actually weaving, but um, yeah, can you share a little bit about the lauhala tree itself and how you use it or well, first of all, right, you know, when I started learning my, my kumu after a while, we would go gather together, right? So you always um, clean the tree, you know, you always respect the tree, you don't make, you don't leave your rubbish. Um, when I go pick, um, sometimes the kupuna would sit there down by the tree and clean and stuff, and, uh, but they would, you know, make sure they don't throw the rubbish all back all over the place. So, but when I go pick, normally I, I gather, take it home, then I prepare and then I mulch all my leaves. So, um, definitely have the respect for your tree. You clean your tree, then your tree will provide clean leaves back to you. So, and then, you know, it's healthier for the tree anyway. And if it gets all stuffed, sometimes it just has a hard time breathing up inside of the tufts or down inside of the roots. So, clean it all out, freshen your tree up and it'll provide good leaf for you. As far as I know, the tree is an ancient tree. It's been on Earth since the time of the dinosaurs. The, of course, the, the main part of the tree that we use is the leaf itself. Uh, normally, when the Hawaiians weave, they pick it dead and dry, either hanging on the tree or falling onto the ground. Um, you wanna look, of course, for the leaves that look the best. The wider the leaf, the better. The longer, the better. You get more material out of it. Uh, so yeah, so when we go and pick the leaf, we pick it nice and dry like this. Um, we want to make sure that this part, the po'olau, is intact. Uh, if you find older leaves, such as this one, the top tends to delaminate and it starts getting dry rot or a lot of times it'll sit with a lot of moisture and it'll rot from the inside and so that tells you it's an older leaf or uh, it's just been sitting in a, the wrong area for too long so we go gather gather our leaves clean your tree say mahalo to your tree you know make sure the tree stays nice and healthy also when we go gather with our kupunas they, they always look to see if somebody already was cleaning the tree so if somebody was already you know someone picks from that tree uh, that tree is kapu, you know, to, you know, made for the person that's clean. Basically, every part of the tree is used from the trunk, the, the roots. Roots have uh, fibers in it that they used to make rope out of, uh, the ulehala. Uh, also, the trunk in the female can be hollowed out and used as the irrigation piping for the tar patches in the old days. Um, instead of PVC, PVC pipes nowadays, you know. Uh, but but me, I give I give credit to the hala tree for making us Hawaiian, you know, because it was the hala leaves that uh, they wove into the canoe sails. Yeah. So this is what brought our canoes over thousands of years ago. And in fact, every single Pacific island, Micronesia, Melanesia, Polynesia, all these islands were populated by canoes at Lauhala sails. Uh, even New Zealand, um, of course. Their hala didn't last, it died because it's too cold, so they started using flax. But, you know, our weaving stayed the same. But, but to me, we wouldn't have been here if it wasn't for this tree, definitely.
and it was here we know at least 1.2 million years before we had arrived so after you malama you kumala you you mahalo him or her you mahalo la kumala la hala you gather your mea your low you clean it uh, take all the kuku off um, what will be the next steps after the cleaning to prepare you to actually weave or uh, a love hala bracelet or a papale? You know, is it the same or the process is the same or different? So, yeah, depending on what you're making, uh, well, the, the process of the leaf is all the same. Um, also, knowing your grade of hala, so certain leaves are only made for maybe making baskets and mats and coarser things, uh, where certain leaves you can use for finer work, uh, more pliable, stronger, longer lasting for papale, uh, bracelets, things you wear like purses, you know, and get a lot of wear. Okay. Um, so knowing your grading of hala. Um, also, once you prepare your leaf, get it dethorned, washed, and then you roll it, uh, we keep it in the kuka'a, the large uh, rolls that uh, we store our leaves in. Um, those I don't like to take out for at least a month before, you know, after I've cleaned it. I don't want to take it out before because then it'll tend to want to curl back into its original shape. So then it's harder to weave again. Just, if, you're, if you pick good, fresh, nice clean leaves, your product will be clean, nice and fresh also. If, if you have mildew on your leaves, you're going to see it in your product. Uh, well, we also know that, you know, traditionally, culturally, you know, lifestyle, Hawaiians were very clean and neat. So that's why we can see their work throughout the generation still be like day one. You know, if it's a papale or if it's a pohaku or papakuiai or uh, an umeke, you know, we appreciate the kumulaau and kept the cleanliness from the natural uh, state to the art of it or whatever we're making mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. mahalo for reminding the cleanliness of your work or preparing your work and actually doing your work is, is very important to the Hawaiian culture so yeah. mahalo aloha mai e pohaku no lele ikiala e ho ikimaya mako e a vehe vehe mai i kauhana ulana ikiala Ikino. So, uh, Ike Manawa, e ho Ike Anavaoya Oko, Pehea e Ulana Kekahi um, Makapuke. Yeah? Oh, wait, wait, no. Hoku, yeah. Kekahi Hoku. So, Ho'ohanavao i na koe. Yeah? Ok, i na koe. He mau koe. Ai ole, uh, strippers, ke ia, yeah? So these are strippers for Lao Hala, um, made of old metal, so different gauges. So, keia ana he hapa iniha, yeah? So half inch no hoi. So, kauko lau ma keia velu. Ho o o ke koe i loko kalau, yeah. Ho o makavau mai uh, kapo o lau, uh, koe ahiki i kavele lau, yeah. So ho o pa a i kou koe maki pa kau kau ali la huki i kou lau. Yeah, you can make it long. He mo na ao ao e lua, and e ya kou kou ana, yeah. He mau kou ana ke ya. So no kahoku, but mahopo e o ke ka koe ana, e, e paki ana i koko ana, paki. So no kahoku, hmm, koko ke i hookahi kapua i paha. Umi aiole umi kumalua ka iniha kalo ihi. Okay, so pono oe i elua. Yeah, no kahoku maalahi. So ho omaka oe mekeia mau mea elua. So kau oe liki mekeia. So ku alila kau kamea makamoe. Yeah, so keia kamoe keia ke ku. Kau komoi maluna kiku. 
and okeya ka ao ao o ke kua o ka lauhala ya okeya ka ao ao ke ku ka kua no leila ho maka oe makalalo and pelu oe maka ao ao akau yeah ki me kela okay ki ikeya ko ana pelu maka ao ao hema Eia ko a pua lehua paha. Ke, ki i ke e ko ana ma ka au au a kau. Ke, e pelu oe ma ka au au hema. Maluna o na mea a elua, ya? So, maluna, pelu oe ke la au au. Ke, e huliana oe i ke ia. Niki me ke ia. Ano like me ke kahi kanaka me ka po'o ole, ya? Kanaka po'o ole ke ia. So, ki iko lima, ke ia lima, hema. E pahu i loko, ahana ke kahi puka, maane ini, ya? So, pahu i loko, hana i ka puka. A leila, ki i iko na wawai akau, ya? Pelu oya i luna. A leila, ho'o o i loko ka puka. Alela huki. Mahapeke la huki na mea eha. Ahiki paa makawaina. A aya ke kahi pahu. E ke kahi pahu makawaina. So mahapeke la huli. Ke mea. Ma keia au au a e ke kaha ya. Ma keia au au. So hiki ke ho'o maka... Iko make make. Ke manawa e ho o maka ma ke ia au au. Ki i ke ia koana, pelu a hi ki ka au au hema. And hele counterclockwise. Ki i ke ia mea makaluna, pelu i lalo. Ki i ke ia mea maka hema. Pelu maka au au a kau. Alila ke i mea lo ihi maka lalo. Pelu i luna. A ho o o i loko o ka puka. O ke ia ka mea... So ho o o i ho o o i lalo o ka mea i pelu maka mua. Alila huki. Huki i luna. Huki a paa i nga koana a pao. A leila paa ka waina, ya? Ke, maha peke la. E oki ana. O ke e ka hoku maalahi, ya? So, oki oi. I ka la la o ka la. Na kukuna o ka la. Ano pa aki ki e oki like na mea e ha aka hoa o wale. Alila ea ka hoku. So he leo mahalo ki ea ya o kou pakahi a pao no ka hui ana, no ka hoa na nea pū ana me mākou, no ka hoa ka ike, no ka hoa lohe ana i ka ike Hawaii o ki e mākumu. Mahalo nui for all of you tuning in with us throughout these past days and really, you know, engaging in the ike that has been shared from all these wonderful mentor and kumu of Maui, of Hawaii. He leo mahalo ke ia, again, mahalo mahalo to ka ehu, again mahalo to all the people who shared and engaged with us in our keiki and our community. And again, this is encouragement to all you folks to find that space in your own community to, to learn, to engage, to share, to create relationships with aina and with people and, and learn more and, and share more uh, in the culture uh, in the aina and I'm again I'm so happy to to be able to share with you folks today um, and throughout these past days so uh, so mahalo mahalo piha ya o ko pakahi apau o vauno o ka haku riti kamara ma ka ehu a hui ho a launa pu ho kako i ke kahila a hui ho